This is uh, my video on battery maintenance. The first thing you have to do is disconnect the um, terminal by uh, taking off the bolt here. Uh, after I took off the negative terminal, terminal I have to take off the uh, positive one. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, clean the uh, post uh, by putting this special scraper on. And we just turn. It will scrape off all the uh, junk on the post. After you're done one, you do it to the other one. And cut. So uh, after we finish scraping them, we take the uh, wire brush here. And we just put it over top. Quickly brush them. And they are clean now. After you've cleaned the posts, you now move on to the terminals by putting the scraper in the terminal and turning. After you're done the negative, you go on to the positive. You now take the uh, brush, go into the terminal. And you do it to the other one as well. So next we're going to use a hydrometer to check the battery's uh, specific gravity in each cell. A good reading on the hydrometer is 0.1275 and uh, each battery sh cell should be above 0.1225. Get out the battery cells, you have to pry open this cover. Remove the cover. Uh, you must be careful because inside the cells are hydrochloric acid. Try not to get any on your skin. You put the hydrometer in, you squeeze, and you pinch it off at the end here. In this case, the reading is uh, just below one, uh, 0.1275, so it's good. After you're done that, you check uh, each one of the cells, and no, re uh, there should be no bad reading. After you're done checking all your stuff on the battery, you put the covers back on, and you start connecting your terminals again. The positive terminal goes on first. After we uh, put the terminal on, make sure it's tight, doesn't move around. Next, you put the negative terminal on. After we've connected the terminals, we have to uh, check the battery's load by hooking up the load test. Uh, first we put on the positive connection, then the negative. Then you take the clip and you put the arrow facing the battery on the negative side. When applying the amps, you have to go half the cold crank amps. So half of 700, so we're going to apply 350 amps uh, for 15 seconds on the battery. So we're going to apply 350 amps onto the battery for 12, for 15 seconds. The volts should not drop below 9.6. To check the load, man. What the hell is smoking? It's past 15 seconds, by the way. The results from it was the battery has good load. The battery is fine. If the battery failed the load test, you hook it up to the battery charger for three minutes on a high charge, and then redo the test. 